Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my bedroom, yay! I am finally back in my home country. I have been for about, well when this comes out, probably about two weeks, I wanna say. Um, I'm gonna do a haul video today. I'm gonna do the Shibuya 109 haul because that's probably the vlog that was just up. Hope you guys all like that. <laughs> But yeah, I have a lot of stuff on my floor right now. Organizing all this stuff took me a long time. Now, I want to put it out there again. This is not meant to brag. I work my retail job. I saved, like, I really wanted to just, this was my shopping trip. Fashion is what I wanted to do and I really wanted to experiment and taste a little bit of every fashion. So I saved and saved and saved and saved and looked at things and I was like, I can't do it, I'm saving. So this is all bought with like hard earned money that I saved up for like a couple years and I just, I blew all of it in one place. So you guys get to see what I got. So we're just gonna dive right into it cause Shibuya 109! I'm so excited and I'm also happy to be home. But let's start off, shall we? So one of the first places we headed to was the Sanrio store in Shibuya 109. Um, this is the Sanrio Pearl Land bag. I tried to save one of every bag so that I had the bags to show you guys cause some of them are really cute. But maybe they're all the same, anyways. Sanrio Pearl Land slash Sanrio store. I'm gonna put my Pearl Land stuff in here too. All right, let's start off, shall we? So the first thing I got was this little pom pom perin. I actually saw someone post a picture of this on Twitter, and I was like, oh, I need that because he's my favorite. And look at his little strawberry beaties. That's so cute, and he can sit with like my other three pom pom perin stuffies now. But I just. I love him. So also from the Sanrio store, I got these little cute scrunchies. So I saw them on Artbox and I was like, I wonder if they'll have them there, and they did. So I was really excited, but I got the little cinnamon roll scrunch. I of course got my favorite dog boy, Pom Pom Prune, and then I got the My Melody scrunch. They did have all the characters. I'm kind of bummed that I didn't go back and get all of them, but like I got these ones, and you know, if they're there next time, We'll snatch them up, but I got these guys and these are really, really cute. The next thing I got was clips because I am such an accessories whore. I already have the My Melody ones, Little Twin Stars, and one more in my um, accessories cabinet, so I thought I'd get the rest of the group. So I have the Little Penguin now, Tuxedo, Tux, Tuxedo does. I can never pronounce his name, but the penguin guy, and he's so cute. That's so adorable. I, of course, got my love pom pom print, and then I got a little precious baby cinnamon roll. I got these guys, they're super cute, love accessories. I got a little passport holder of my Melody. They had a pom pom print one, but it just wasn't for me, and I'm like, pink is my jam. So I got the My Melody one. It is super cute and precious and it's just so adorable. I didn't end up putting it on my passport and I totally should have because I'm like, it's just really cute. Anyways, it's really adorable. I love it. I also got this little book and these little notepad and this little like Hello Kitty keychain because if you spent a lot of money at the store, which I did, you could get like little free things and now I have a stamp card which is almost full again. So I have these which I got for free from the Sanrio store because I spent a lot of money. From actual Sanrio Pearl Land, because I didn't get actually a lot because I didn't want to spend my money on a giant stuffy because I already had one, I got this little pom pom perin keychain. He is so cute. I love him. He's going to go with my collection of other things. I'm probably going to make an Eda bag for him actually because he's just so cute. So I got the little keychain. I got, it's a, like a pin, but it's like a Hello Kitty pin because it was Hello Kitty's. 45th anniversary and I was like what and I got a picture with Hello Kitty. I'll like put it right here It's very cute, and I love it. I also got a little pom pom perin like hand towel Sorry, I'm like holding something in my other hand, but it's so cute I don't want to wash my face on this I just kind of want to frame it because like I don't want to wreck it. It's so cute And then of course I got a pom pom perin tote bag, which is what I was holding in my other hand Look at him. He's so cute and it also came with like a little extra pouch and I think that that's super cute. So I'm very happy about that. Moving on to the next store. So Shibuya 109 has a lot of fancier stores. I don't wanna say super fancy, like middle class. Like it's not La Array with like Angelic Pretty and Baby and the Starshine, right? It's kind of like, 
an in-between fancy and I was like, oh, I want to go shop at these stores. And like all of them had like, if you buy a pair, you get it for cheaper because all of the shirts and skirts and dresses and whatever by themselves were close to $100, but they all had like a sale going on where if you bought a shirt and a skirt, you could get them both like all together for $100. So I did that a lot. <laughs> One of the stores I did that at was Secret Honey. This store was so cute and the like <laughs> employees, they were super nice. And like this was, oh, I also put the shirt on backwards and they laughed at me, but it's fine um, because they were really sweet. But I got this shirt and the bow goes in the back, which I know now, but here's the back and look at the bow. It's so pretty, the lace is so pretty oh my gosh and then of course I had to get the skirt to go with it so I have the shirt and then I got this really precious it's got the shearing in the back and then a really cute bow in the front it's like a baby sky blue and it's just got candies on the bottom you know I'm a sucker for a little cute candy aesthetic been really loving the sweets been really loving the fruits, but this skirt is adorable. It's got little bits of ruffle on the bottom. I love it very much. I got the whole set for like a hundred bucks, which some people may say that's really expensive, but I'm like, hey, on their own, they were like 90 bucks. So I'm like, that's a steal for me. You know what I'm saying? That's a steal. Another store that I went to was called Mars with a flower in the middle. Here's the bag. It is very cute. Um, this outfit was actually on a mannequin outside and I did this three or four times where I was like, mom, I need that entire outfit that's on a mannequin. I need an employee. I need them to get it for me. I, I need it on my body right now. So this is the outfit and I have worn it since, so it's kind of not folded nicely like other ones have been, but it's still really cute. So I got this super cute, like ruffle lacy top. It is adorably cute. I love the sleeves. They're adorable. The buttons are really soft and like the same material. I love that. In clothes, it looks super cute. The top also came with the little black string. If you don't follow me on Twitter, I did post pictures of it on Twitter and I'll probably post them on my second Instagram account just because it's not quite the aesthetic of my other, my main Instagram, but it'll work on my second one. But this is the top and then for the bottom look at me experimenting with colors were these like super cute like blush pink skirt shorts skirt it looks like a skirt when it's on but it's actually shorts but like cute baggy shorts like they're really baggy and the ruffles on the bottom huh, honey these are so cute and of course it was a suspender skirt so it can like be a suspender skirt or not you pick live your dreams your best life you can have suspender skirts or shorts or whatever you want and live your best dreams and life. <laughs> of course, while we were in Shibuya 109, I had to pop in to WeGo because I love WeGo. WeGo is one of my favorite stores in Japan other than WC, but we're not gonna talk about that right now because whew, I did some damage. So I have my WeGo bag. I have my WeGo things. I have a lot of WeGo things. So the first thing I got was this ridiculous bunny hat, which if you've been following my Instagram stories, you would have seen. It's the one that you can do the thing. I thought they were all on sale and I'm like, I need one of these ridiculous things because I just think it's so funny and so cute. And now I can be Japanese tourist with bunny ears and I just think it's so cute and funny so I got one of these they did come in different colors uh, but I couldn't find the pink one and the ones that I did find that were pink were like expensive and I'm like nah so I got that one another thing that I wanted to really get in Japan because my waist is small for Canadian sizes I don't know why I have a 26 waist which apparently is too small to find any belts in the entire world without having to put more holes in them over here and y'all know that I got this belt last time I went to Japan. I wear it all the time. It is my favorite belt because it has no holes and I can just cinch it to my tiny waist size. So it's really nice and I love it. So girl loaded up on some belts while I was there. I got a pink one, just darker pink. I got a white one because a staple. I got this really cute 
pastel rainbow one, and then I got a black one, because you know, girl is experimenting with some color. And then I also got this little one, which they put in another little bag, just for me, because I feel like this is more of a decorative one. It's like one of those ones where you just kind of put it on your waist, and it's like got hearts on it, and it's metal. And I thought that was really cute, and I'm like, hey, for like five bucks, why not? I want some of that cute accessorizing belts goodness. All right, also from Wego, we got some socks. Of course we got some socks, uh, but I'm gonna show you the little hair clips. I got these cute little hair clips. They were adorable. They're just pink and hearts. They were super cute, but of course I got some socks because they always had that deal like 10 for three or three for 10. I don't know. They had lots of sock deals and I was like, I like socks. So I got these ones with ruffles and a little heart on it. I got these ones with a unicorn on it because I like unicorns even though they're very mainstream, but I still love them. I got these pink sparkly socks. I got the same ones in purple because variety. I got some black ruffle socks because, you know, experimenting with color and I think other things would go cute. And then I got white ones with little black ruffles and it reminds me of kind of like ramen noodle when you don't, like haven't put the water in it yet. Am I the only one that thinks that way? Probably. Anyways, I got some socks and they're super cute. So that's what I got from Wego. Also in Shibuya 109, we went to Onespo. Onespo was very expensive. Um, you're definitely paying for like brand, you're paying for the fashion, you're paying for, um, yeah, you're paying for the fashion because it's different, it's out there, it's, it's crazy. I got three items from one spot and I think it came to about 200 bucks so like that is a little expensive but I'm like the things I got I really like and I think are really cool and different. Plus a lot of the employees were wearing what I got and I'm like you did good. You sold me. You wore it well and I like it. <laughs> so from one spot I got this really cool it's like a shirt dress with newspaper print. Now for those of you who don't know before I started wearing lots of kawaii fashion I did wear a lot of black. Um, I posted that in my previous previous videos, but newspaper print has always been a weakness of mine. I love newspaper print. I just think it's weird and cool and like people will like come up to you and try to read your shirt and I'm like, haha, I'm moving too quick. You can't read it. Um, I don't know. Anyways, it is really, really cute and it kind of, it like goes down just about to my knees. So it's like a dress. And then I'm thinking with the black belt from we go, yeah, cinch that waist in. It would look super cute, but I just think it's so weird and different. And like, it's got like the flip and everything. So it looks like you have like a dress shirt on top of another shirt, but it's all one and it's like a dress. So I just think that's really neat. And it's just like a newspaper print and I love it. I got this shirt with the same kind of concept. Um, looks like you have a shirt kind of on it and it is white and it's got ruffles and it's really wrinkly because it was smushed into a bag because we had to like air press them into things to bring things back which is a whole thing you'll see that video near the end but it's really cute and it goes really well with the pants I'm about to show you which I like to call my ABBA pants so these are my ABBA pants the reason why I call them that is because they kind of flare out here in the bottom and like it's all lace and then there's actual short here they've got pockets which is fantastic but like I don't know it just like gave me very esque like Mamma Mia ABBA Waterloo I just like, I can see myself singing ABBA in these pants okay comment down below if you think I'm crazy but like these are ABBA pants I don't know they just they <laughs> ABBA pants of course, I went to another sock store in Shibuya 109. Um, it, this one is called Doll Kiss, and I got a few pairs of socks for an outfit that I actually got later on in the trip, and I came back to Shibuya 109, but we're putting it all on one. So it is ones with a cute little like, wine red with the pearl. Then I also have ruffle socks with the wine red. Are we seeing a theme? You'll see what it is eventually. And then of course I need big extra wine red uh, ruffle socks because you know I need to be extra all the time. Yes. <laughs> of course you know I got shoes in Japan. I got 18 pairs of shoes. Some of you might think that's crazy and you know what? <gasps> You're probably right. I don't care I like shoes and I'm a fashion person and I have no more room in my bedroom to store anything yay but the first pair of shoes I got were these because I was building an outfit and I needed to buy clothes like I was totally terrified going to Japan and thinking oh crap what if I don't actually find clothes like I'm bringing 
one outfit. Like I had the outfit I was wearing on the plane and then what I was going to change into and that was it. I did not pack a spare change of clothes off. I didn't find anything I liked. I was screwed or I guess I could have just washed it because there was a washing machine in our Airbnb but shh, I just wanted to find things. But I got shoes and I have the whole outfit that I bought based off these shoes and I got these shoes from a place called Esperanza. I don't have the bag because it wasn't that cute but it was a big black bag and a tote bag because my mom got a pair of shoes too. We got two pairs of shoes for like 50 bucks but these are heckin adorable. Look at those. Can we get any more extra? Of course we can I'm about to show you. Wow look at these shoes. I got these ones from a store called CSTNP and it is a Harajuku brand. I went to that store and spent way too much money there on Harajuku day um, but yeah, you'll see all those shoes in the next haul, but these were just too pretty to pass up. They're so pretty, like look at the pastel rainbow, oh my cheese. That is so cute, I love it a lot. They're adorable. Coming back to Shibuya 109, it was one of the last days we were actually there and we were meandering and I look over to my right and I'm like, oh, mom! We have to go into that store because they're selling the shoes that I literally wanted to find but couldn't find and I was going to pay $90 US plus the shipping, translate that into Canadian, weep for me, and they had them there. And I got the last ones there in my size, so I got these beautiful Fila freaking pastel amazing dream shoes. Look how great they are. These saved my feet, especially when we went to Akihabara because... Oh my god, I would have been dead. My feet were no longer feet at that point. Um, these shoes are amazing. If you don't have these shoes and you like pastel, I recommend because they are freaking a godsend. Beautiful shoe and can we just appreciate, look how beautiful those are. I wore them a ton. They are adorable and I love them. I will shush now. Of course, you know, we popped into WC. WC is like my favorite favorite store that was the store I spent the most money at including like every time together but I held back a little bit when we went there the first day because I'm like oh Harajuku is gonna be the big day but I did pick up a few things so the first thing I did was I actually picked my outfit for the next day so I got this cute purple skirt which I also have in pink that I got last year it's just really cute it's a staple. It's also a skirt. Go Japan. They like their skirts over there, which I appreciate because I do not like an unprotected tush. I got this top that says cheeky on it and I'm like thinking, wow, this is literally the perfect top for me. It has cheeky on it. It's pink and purple and white and it's really cute. And the only thing that would have been better if it said 99 because that's my birth year is 1999. But 89 is still really cute and it's a really cute top and I love it a lot. Like cheeky, that's my brand. Hashtag coming for my brand WC. I'm watching you. I wanted to get those camel pants that like everyone's hyped about so I got a pair of the pink ones and then later on you'll see that I got another color of them as well but I wanted the pink ones so bad. All the ones that were like here in Victoria were either really expensive or literally th the waist does not exist in 26. I don't understand why no one just... Uh. And then I got this really cute Triceratops bag because I had originally ordered him when I got my WC sweaters around Christmas time and my dinosaur ones. Um, he was a part of my order but then they emailed me and said he was all sold out and gave me a refund. So I was really happy to see that he was there because now he's in my little precious possession and I think I want to name him Doug. I love it. <laughs> okay, moving out of Shibuya 109 but still in the Shibuya area, we went to Loft and Loft is kind of like a Costco but kind of more expensive and not as big. It's like a loft, just Google it. And we went there a few times and yeah, it's just a plain bag. It's got loft up here in the corner and I just got a few things. And by a few things, I mean like a handful of things. So first off, my pens that I got from Staple were running out of ink so I'm like, I want a new set of rainbow pens. So I got these really cute pastel and I believe they are gel pens. But I thought, hey, why not? They were like five bucks for the pack, and I'm like, these are adorable. Let's get some new pens, so I got these. I also got some really cute new um, notebooks, because I'm obsessed with notebooks, so I got this one with candy hearts on it, and it's super cute, and it says crystal clear sweet candy, and I'm like, that's adorable. And I also got this really cute one with like cat desserts, because 
that. It's just really cute and it says Koneko Cafe and it's just really cute and they're all cats and I thought that that was really cute so I got these little notebooks. I also picked up some Fujifilm um, little things because I'm like I want cute ones and you can't really find them here so I got a my little twin stars one I got like a star one and then I got this kind of weird grid one but they're all really cute and pastel and I was like these are adorable let's get some of these and I wanted to actually use them on the trip because I brought my camera with me but if you get the tax free they bagged it up and they're like we will like sue you if you open it so I didn't get to actually use them on the trip but I'll use them here and it'll still be cute or I'll just save them for next time I go to Japan and use them then so yeah, little mistake there. So if you want to use that kind of stuff, don't get it tax-free. Another thing that I loaded up on was stickers, and they had these really cute puffy stickers. So I got these kind of little gaming ones. Um, all of the stickers that are in the package were on the back. So I had these little guys here. I got some puffy little gummy bear stickers, which are super cute. I got more kind of gummy stickers that are really cute. Look how adorable those are. I got poofy got dinosaur stickers that were really cute. Look how cute those are. And then more gummy dinosaur stickers, but like a different pack. So those are really cute too. I love stickers, okay? I got these two, which were kind of like a set, and they're just really cute. Look at how cute those stickers are. And then I got these ones here as well. Do lots of stickers. So I got like I got the like rainbow unicorn set, I got the candy set, I got another like sweet dessert set, and a little fruit set that I thought was really adorable. And of course, more desserts that are pink and cute. And then I got two little funny stickers, I just thought these were really cute. They're like little happy chickens, and then this one is just like, oh ain't no one gonna get me, no one's gonna get me son, he's just like. <laughs> Oh, you ain't gonna eat me. And I just thought that was really cute. I don't think I want to stick that anywhere. I just think it's really cute. And they are made in Japan. Super cute stickers. Another place we went to is we meandered down to Tower Records. Um, this is actually really heavy and oh my gosh. So I got a few things from here. So Tower Records isn't actually like a music store, like with instruments. It's a music store with like CDs and albums and all that which I thought was really neat because when you say music store over here in Canada especially it's you want to find instruments and like you can generally find CDs and all that with it but that you go to like Walmart for or I don't know London drugs like you find the CDs and albums over there you don't normally see that at where the instruments are so I just thought it was really interesting because I'm like hmm but then it says Tower Records so I'm like yeah, that makes sense. Never mind. But you also found magazines there. So, of course, I got some magazines. So, I have been hopping on that K-pop wagon. We'll get more into that later. But I got two BTS, actually, magazines because I love them. Um, and where's my favorite? Ugh, I'm not going to point it out right now. I love them all, pretty much. So, they're really cute. And I love them. And their skin is flawless. So, these are I'm going to enjoy having fun to translate and go through later. I also got one for my favorite girls twice because they are so cute and I love their new song Fancy. Um, I think they have another song out now but I haven't listened to it yet but I'm still living over Fancy so it's really cute and I love it. And then of course we got one with our girls on it, Black Pink in your area, except not really because I live in Victoria and no one ever comes here um, but I wish, that'd be really cool. Black Pink come to my area. <laughs> Uh, they're really awesome. I love them like ugh, Look at them. Also all of these came with posters and I went through like a bunch of different magazines for each of them just to find the poster that I liked because Yeah, and then also Blackpink came out with a photo book. And I was really nervous to get this because I'm like, oh no What if it's like an album, but it's like a just a legit photo book and it just has like photos of them and that makes me so happy and it also comes with like a little sleeve and like I got I got a Jenny sleeve look she's so cute just gotta keep these really nice but like that's so cute a photo book Ugh. if I become famous I want a photo book of me holding pom pom per and, and anime figurines that would be such a sad book <laughs> no one would get that all right so the last place we went to was the seven story forever 21 
And I did do a little bit of shopping in here. I wanted to get something for my brother, but then I didn't end up doing that because I'm like, no, he would never wear that. I did get him things later on though, and you'll see those. All right, so the first thing I got at Forever 21 was these like massive rainbow heart earrings. And they are actually earrings, not clip-ons, because I know Japan enjoys their clip-ons because a lot of them don't have pierced ears. It's a part of their like uniform. They're not allowed pierced ears. So I was really excited when I saw those rainbow earrings. I was also really excited when I found out that their shorts fit my tiny little waist. So I got a few pairs of shorts. I got these really cute like gingham pink shorts that come with a little like band and they were actually on sale. They were like five dollars and they have pockets but look how cute those are. The little cinched waist, it's got some ruffles. Um, I definitely need to wear like kind of like white shorts maybe underneath but they're really cute. I got these really cute shorts right here with kind of like the fraying on the bottom i'm gonna call it that and they actually fit my waist too these are a size 25 in waist actually so i guess i'm even smaller damn it um and they actually fit this was one of the outfits that i saw on a mannequin and i was like i need that so i got the shorts and then i also got the top that was on the mannequin as well which is just this really pretty like pastel lavender top it came with an extra button, but look how cute this is. I just thought it was really adorable because I'm like, I need some cute summer tops. I own lots of sweaters, but I own no summer tops. So I thought this would be really cute for summer. We're going to do some summer vlogs around here. We're going to do trying some pastries and all that. It's going to be really good. I got this kind of like purpley mesh top. Um, and I just thought it was really neat. And this is definitely like a shirt that you can layer. So like I could put that purple one underneath. Ooh, layering. Look at me, I can still see the camera. <gasps> Sneaky sneak, I love it. Look, it goes with my outfit right now. Perfect. Oh my gosh, me and my newspaper print. I saw this and I'm like, it's pink newspaper print, what? And I was like, I need that immediately. So I was all over this and I definitely needed it. I think it was like, ten dollars so it was like 1,000 yen um, but it was like really really cute so girls take over Wall Street yes Queens um, but I love newspaper print <laughs> we know that already though the last thing I got from forever 21 was this really cute like it almost feels like lingerie but I swear it's not it's this really pretty flower top because I am a mature adult woman <laughs> Um, it also came in black and I actually really liked the black one more because it came with purple flowers but they didn't have it in my size and I was sad because um, I did need a bigger size uh, but this one was still really cute and maybe they'll eventually come out with it here in my Forever 21 and I'll be able to get the black one in my size but I got this one and it's just really pretty it's like lacy and it has flowers on it definitely a delicate wash all right guys that is all I have for my Shibuya 109 haul. I hope you liked it. After next week's vlog, there will be a Harajuku haul. That is the big boy. I might separate it into two parts. We don't know, but we'll see. So until next time, I love you guys a lot and I'll see you next time. Bye!